how to create compelling stories even if you think you have nothing interesting to say. Hi everyone, Mike Impogato here and today I will be sharing with you a little bit of information about the next class I'll be having with my students, but I will be sharing this class also with you guys since I post a poll over here in this group and quite a lot of people sign in for this. You wanted to know a little bit more how to create compelling stories even if you think you don't have anything interesting to say. So this is, all, this is a myth, guys. Everybody has something interesting to say. The only thing is you might not know how to say it, so it will be compelling, okay? And um, at this point, I just wanted to tell you a general information about what this whole thing is gonna be about. So if you are already uh, on the poll over there, that's awesome. Thank you for that, guys. You're also helping me to, get, to make, make it better for the students. And uh, if you're not, Maybe you're going to be interested with this and then you can still sign in. I'm going to link in that poll over here to this, to this message as well and you can join others uh, and tell me, for example, that yeah, I, I'm interested in this. This is something that I would like to listen and I'm really happy to deliver it to you guys and get some feedback from you because then it will go to your children maybe, right? I'm, I'm like I said, a teacher in a high school, in a kindergarten and my goal is to pass the knowledge to them primarily. Uh, so, uh, back, to, back to the information guys, what we're going to be covering in my little class. Uh, all this information I got either from KBB, either from Russell, either from other business courses that I went through and the l lately I went through quite a few of them. Uh, so I compiled all this knowledge and trying to pass it on in the form of a hopefully not too long of a class. <laughs> okay, so you already know that when it comes to telling stories guys, we have the best method for it from Dean Graciosi, which is Hook Story Close, okay? And this is a big format for it. And what Dean is saying as well is that you should totally talk through from your heart, right? You should spill out your, your soul, talk about your emotions, because this is what is converting people, right? Making, making them into your fans and followers. The thing is that not for every single one of us, it's it's easy to speak like that, especially if you're a guy, for example, right? That guys don't really like to talk about emotions, uh, but, but even for others, right? It's not really easy how to do this, right? So like, I know the theory, but I don't know how, okay? So what I wanted to talk about is basically, okay, how to make this hook story close into a compelling story, my compelling story, right? Whatever the story will be. And so what you might still not uh, get from the, the general idea is that within the hook story close, there are actually three stories, right? Every hook is already a story which has hook story close within the hook, right? And then the story has a hook story close within the story, and then the close has actually hook story close within the close, right? Within call to action. So we are telling three different stories that are combined in a bigger story in this format. Okay, and now just to give you an example, hook for example is an attention catcher, right? So what it's going to be in my bigger story, it can only be just a headline, right? Or this, right? For my, for my class will be introduction, right? This class will be about how to create compelling stories even if you, didn't, if, even if you think there is nothing interesting to say, right? For you. So that's going to be my headline, my title, right? Then the sales copy will be the hook the, the story within my hook and the button over there will be the close within my hook, right? But that just takes me to the next step of the bigger story, which is actually the story itself, right? So that can be my origin story or that can be the, the content of my class, right? Right, so you can be discussing about your journey, right? And so on and so on. So within the hook and with the story and the close, we, we have smaller hook, smaller story and smaller close, okay? That's how it's organized. And all this is actually organized within, you can build these, right, these little stories by using the Epiphany Bridge script, right, which is basically nothing else than a simplified version of Two Heroes Journey uh, that is a script for creating a blockbuster movies in Hollywood. All right, so Russell went with went to see uh, uh, how it, how the, the this compelling stories in Hollywood are created. Right, he he got this big concept, and then he went to his sales and uh, marketing team and make it make it simpler 
for salespeople and, and marketing people to create their sales messages and they call it the Epiphany Bridge script. So it's pretty cool because just eight, eight simple questions that you have to follow and then once you know what you're answering and why the, the, the different questions are there, what is it for in your story, it's pretty much like puzzles, like putting the puzzles together. Right, so you can answer it first on the piece of paper, then throw away the questions, read the, all the answers, all the answers just like that, and you have the script of the story. Right, then you can make it, you can tweak it a little bit, make it hook maybe longer because it wasn't strong enough, or story maybe shorter because it was too long, or whatever else. It can be very different for very many, many different people, but you have the general idea about how this story is created, and all of a sudden, creating the hook story close. Uh, stories, right? Sales messages is fun. It's like a game all of a sudden, right? Like you do this, you do this, you do this. You put it together, and you have the the really cool, compelling story. Okay, so it, it's very, very different if you actually know why you're saying different things in your story. What are you, what is this for? What is that for? What is that for? Right? And then you can simply say, oh, this is actually not. I don't need that, or I actually need a little bit more of that. Right? You put it like that and it just becomes a game, pretty much like a game, which is what I like the most. I turn everything into a game. Uh, so I think that helps you guys to realize what we're gonna do. Um, so like I said, please sign in for this course. Let me know if, if this is helpful, uh, if I can help in any other way. Give me some feedback, how I can be better in what I do, guys, because I'm optimally doing this just to train myself to deliver it even better to my uh, to my customers in the future okay so hopefully you will give me that gift for christmas and i will try to deliver you something that is of value thank you thank you so much have a wonderful day have a wonderful week guys and see you on another video take care